There it is. Good morning. We are live. Oh yes, it's a Wednesday. It's a beautiful Wednesday. It's kind of gloomy here in LA, but I like it. My name is Jess. This is Breakout Studios Online. This is Open Tap Class. Um, today's going to be a little more advanced. I won't lie to you because I want to teach a little bit of this choreography that uh, my friend and I created last week. It was super fun. So I want to throw it out there in case, you know, I was at people like, I want to learn this. I want to learn this. So I'll have a little, little snippet of it on here. Not the whole thing because it's pretty long. It's like a minute long dance. So I'm going to just condense it a little and give you some of the fun parts. Sound good? We'll get going in just a minute. Um, if you have a tap board or something you want to tap dance on, get that ready. Put your shoes on. You can also do this class in your house slippers or your sneakers or barefoot. <laughs> Whatever works, right? We're dancing at home. We're feeling good. Make sure you've got some water nearby. And we'll begin in a second. If you want to fast forward through this later, that's fine. This is me continuing my little setup moment here while I try to make sure you can see what I'm doing as best as possible. Yay! There we go. That should that should do it, right? Let's see how that looks. Yeah. I got my little heater back there in the corner. Sorry, as I said, it is quite chilly, so we're doing what we gotta do. All right, awesome. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What do you think? It'll just be my feet today. Oh, and my cat. He's gonna sit right there apparently again. He did this last night. <laughs> He's unbothered. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. What do you say? Should we get going? I think we're ready to warm up. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Again, if you're here live, my name is Jez. Feel free to throw any little comments at me. I've got this pulled up on my computer, too, so I can see what you're talking about. Or you can leave them in the comments after the, after the video is already posted, and I'll try to answer you then, too. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. set by a lot of noises apparently when they're tap shoes. You're gonna do the other side. <laughs> it's just gonna hang out there. So you got this little elbow on the board. Let's do it. Start with the toes. Good. 
Good, shake it out. How are you feeling? I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling pretty warm. I threw some stuff in there that's kind of in the choreo later, so if it feels familiar, that's why. Yeah. Also, it's worth noting, so this little thing I'm on, uh, it's from the Dot to Dance company. They created a Dot to Tap. This is actually a prototype, so if you get one, it will not look like this. <laughs> this was one they were testing. Uh, we didn't end up going with it because it's a little too hollow. It's a little too lifted. You can probably hear that in my sounds. It's quite loud. Um, <laughs> but, you know, just so you know, they've, they've perfected the design if you want to get you one of these one day. Oh, he's over it. He's going to the window. He wants to watch some birds. That's fine. He'll be back. All right. Let's go into some shuffles. I'm just going to put on a little song. You can follow along. Uh, things to think about while we're doing these shuffles, of course. This is also for us to warm up those ankles. Make sure they're feeling nice and loose. Keep a nice bend in your standing leg, right? Our groove. This is our little pulse that's going to be helping us. Relax that foot, right? There shouldn't be any flexing and pointing happening in our shuffle. It should all just be based on the movement of my leg starting from the hip. Yeah? So keep that in mind. You know, if you feel like you're getting tense, pause for a second, shake it off, and then jump back into it because we don't want to train any weird, funky things. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Let's go there. Hey. Oh, he's back. Are you going to show us some shuffles? Oh, no, you're just going to be sweet. He's tired himself out because he's been running around like a psychopath all morning. <laughs> he's having a good time. Yeah, you can hang out. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> oh, no, he wants to go out the door. That's not happening. All right. 
Let's do, I want to do a little drill. Um, a step that's going to come up in this choreo. Ooh, I'm going to try to get a hold of my tea. I have a hot cup of tea that I just forgot about. So probably very bitter now, but I'm going to drink it anyways. Oh yeah, wow, yummy. <laughs> going for it, anywho. Gotta have that, gotta have that caffeine kick, you know? Okay, so let me see here. I wanted to do, ah, yes, this little rhythm turn on it. It's pretty quick, especially with the section that we're uh, doing today. This is the little quick section. So, uh, we're gonna start with just a nice little drill. Uh, right foot will shuffle across. Yes, I'm gonna cross that foot as far back as I can. Really get it over there. I'm gonna unwind, right, left, right, left, heel, heel, toe, toe. One, two, three. Yeah, come on, chance. Let's see where the turn. Shuffle. There it is. Do it one more time. Two, three. Bend those knees. Spot the front. I had a little drag there because I didn't spot the front. I was watching the cat. You know when he starts meandering by all the stuff I have plugged in that I don't need unplugged? It, it stresses you out. If you have a cat, you understand. Do the other side. Shuffle across. Nice. Do it again. Two, three, four. And. He's really on the move today. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go two of these little shuffle pair little things, shuffle ball heel that we practiced earlier. Shuffle cross. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Unwind. Let's do it again. Woo, my balance is off today. I feel compromised. I need to shake it out. Let's do that again. I'm going to find my center. Oh, see, it's all part of it, y'all. If you don't feel like you were going to use your, your core and your balance today, you were wrong. Let's do it again. Two, three, spot the front. And. Yes. So, we're going to do that twice in a row. From there, I'm going to take out the paradiddles. I'm going to just do one. Shuffle, cross, heel, 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 heel. Pick that foot up, right? So, on that last Left toe dropping, I want you to really lift that right foot again. Do it again. One and two and three and four. Hopefully I don't fall off my dot. Then I'm gonna do two of those paddles again. One, two, three, four, paradiddles. Sorry, that's the rhythm we're playing. It's called a paradiddle. Uh, then this is the step that's gonna be in our choreo lately, so this is why I wanted to get some love. Shuffle hop, shuffle cross. Unwind, heel, heel, toe, toe. Step, step. Yeah. Shuffle, hop, shuffle, cross, heel, heel, toe, toe. Step, step. Sounds like this. Woo! That's a warm up. If you're doing this right now with me, it's 10 a.m. for me, technically, because I'm an hour behind y'all in Tucson. But woo! <laughs> I can feel my body waking up. It's good. It's good. After this, I'll be ready for anything, especially yelling at a cat. Hey. Don't do that. I see you back there. He's chewing on lights. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here comes the, the loud noises. Oh, okay, no. I thought there was going to be a loud noise because <laughs> he falls a lot. Don't you? Don't you? Yes. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something. He left me hanging. Okay, let's go over the whole thing. From the top, two shuffle stem wheels. One. Oh, 
figure out a place quicker, right? Those first, uh, the two before it that don't have the paddle. Again. One E and a two E and a three E and four, yeah? Boom, that's what you have, okay? Kind of, sort of. Let's practice that on the left side just before we dive right into it. You brought like cardboard with you too, this cat. Now he's trying to open a door. That's not happening. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You have a shovel. Again. Cross it. Sorry. Don't judge me, okay? I've been awake for like an hour and a half. You'll be coming back over here. Every time I bend down to touch the music, he thinks it's like hangout time or he just wants to take the board. That's, yeah, that's fine. Hi. Come on, Chance. You got to teach something if you're going to come up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's some, that's some adorable content right there. Look at that. Come on. This is why you come to Breakout Studios online, right? Hang out with Chance. All right. <laughs> Let's listen to this with some music. <laughs> this guy. There it is. <laughs> y'all how'd it feel how'd it go you made it hopefully so uh hopefully a little better than me on those turns i think it was also i was running out of space here and i was 
skating all around. So, you know, make sure you got a little bit of room for those, for your leg span. <laughs> make sure whatever you're dancing on makes sense for your, your length. I got a lot of leg, got a lot of space. All right, sweet. Let's see. Um, I want to do one more quick little exercise before we go into the combo, since the combo isn't too long. I'm also, I'm not going to play the song from the combo today because I think it'll get us taken down for copyright. So I'm going to tell you what the song is called later. I'll even probably put it in the title of this uh, video, but yeah, we're not going to play it because then this video will get demonetized and taken down. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to be sneaky. We're going to learn it and just practice it to other songs uh, that are royalty free. Yay. Okay. Quick sip of tea and then we'll get into it. Oh, gosh, that is bitter. I do not like super bitter tea, but I accidentally forgot about this cup of tea and left it sitting for a while, so you know what happens. You know how that goes. Sweet. Okay. Sorry, I know this little heater in the corners. Not the cutest. I wish it was a cute heater, but it keeps me cozy, so I can't complain. Okay, let's see. I want to do... Yes, I wanted to talk about a shovel. <laughs> Shovels. And this is not, again, the easiest thing for me to do while I'm on this little board, but, you know, it's possible. So we're going to talk about it. This is going to be less of like a follow-along combo and more of like let's just work through this and talk about them. If you've never seen a shovel before, they're also often called a shiggy bop. There's a version of these that's called a shiggy bop. A shovel, um, as I learned it, we bend those knees. We're going to press through our heel, right? So we're not going to pick up the foot and do this. We're going to start with those foot on the ground, press through, jump, and land on a dig like this. Now, rather than thinking of pushing your foot away from you, I want you to think up and down. Yeah, you see how this is happening? This is not the full step. This is me going in slow motion for you for a moment, just for the record. Um, yeah, just like this. Try it again. Bend those knees. One more time. Good. Do the other side. Bend your knees. Yes. Yeah. We practice this way because we want to have control over it. If we extend that leg straight out, it's a little harder. You know what I mean? Because we're just based on whatever uh, speed your leg extends at. That's what it's going to sound like. So instead, if we use this plie, we can learn to control this. So. If you have something to hold on to, you've never done these before, I recommend it for this moment just to figure out where you're going and try to get those two sounds. But if you've done it before, you know what's happening. Bend those knees. Use your arms to help you out. You can't see mine, but they're swaying. They're going all over the place. It's, it's just human nature, y'all. Let them help you. Bend your knees. Push. Yeah, so both feet. Do that again. Yeah. You hear how that's it's controlled. I can, I can go slower. I can go faster. I'm bending those knees. Yeah, rather than, <laughs> right, where it's not as clear as well. We want those two sounds. Yeah, so, sorry, it's a little scrapey. <laughs> it should sound a little more like that. Word, pick those knees up, do it again. Sorry, this is making the camera jump, but, you know, I was going to try to do this really quietly, but there's basically no way. You just, your whole weight of your body is going to make some sounds. So we're living, we're going for it, don't be afraid. <gasps> do it again. Right? Do that one more time. Practice both feet. Yeah. Right? If you land correctly, you shouldn't have to immediately drop those toes down. Right? Because you should be in this like, nice, comfortable spot on that heel. You should be able to hold it for a little bit or even a while. It's good training to get that balance right there. Yeah? So you don't want to go and just kind of fall straight through this. Bend those knees. Take that jump. That's how we land. Yeah? So that's our basic... Shovel. If that's what you want to work on today, you just want to get that down, that's beautiful. Go for it. In the choreography, there is supposed to be a little, <laughs> yeah, where we do this little, uh, as it's known as a shaky bop sometimes, but also it's just a single foot, little scalp through. Um, what you would do for the single foot, same energy, start on one foot this time, obviously, instead. Bend that knee. Now again, push up. And then I'm going to put this back foot down. I'm going to go one, two with the front foot. Three is my foot landing. Yeah, so the first two sounds are all here. Uh, 
other sound is back there. Yeah, it's just three sounds. Sounds like this. One, whoo, these always stress me out, especially on the smaller board. But I'm gonna do it. One, two, three. Yeah, again. You hear what I'm hearing? That second one was a little better. You know, you gotta you gotta do some duds before you get the good ones on days. <laughs> yeah, try it. Try the other side too. I might be a lefty on these, honestly. Right, we hear now. You can't see my upper body, but she is she is going for it. It's it's helping me. I'm swinging those arms. You know, you don't have to in this case freeze those arms. Use them to help train that leg to go to the right place. Right. We hear how we're getting three clear, clear sounds. They're not smooshing together. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a lefty on these, which is very strange. But right, right feels off. Yeah, it's not as controlled. That was better. But, you know, we've all got our things. So, yes, there's going to be one of those in there. If you've never done one before, I'll give you an option. But, you know, just be smart. Do whatever is safe for you. If it starts to feel wrong or you're missing sounds, bring it back to basics. Break it down. That's the way to go about things. It makes more sense. Okay, so, as I mentioned earlier, I wish you could see my head, but I know it's hard because uh, the frame. And I don't want to be adjusting the camera the whole time. Um, the song we're dancing to is called Blueberry Eyes. It's a, a remix of the song with Suga from BTS, and we're going to dance to his section. Now, as I said, I can't play that on here because you know what happens, so we're going to avoid that. We're going to be sneaky about it, and if you want to see this, this actual choreography to the song, it's up on my TikTok, it's up on my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's out there for you, free to learn. Right here, right now, I'll teach you this first little section of it that's fun to practice and just get clean. And there's lots of interesting little moments here. So, we're gonna come in, in the music, he goes, ayo, ayo. The best part about this is since he's rapping in Korean, I wouldn't know the lyrics anyway. So, we're not relying on the lyrics, we're relying on the melodies and rhythms. So, we have right, left, right, left with my heels. Yeah? Sorry, it's left, right, left, right. You go left, right, left, right, and then I'm gonna push onto this left side and just do a little drag with my right foot. Do it again. One, two, three. Yeah, so that last little heel there initiates the drag. Sounds nice on this wood board, doesn't it? Do it again. One, two, three. Yeah, it's only probably a little faster than that. One, two, three. Yeah, bend those knees on those heel drops. Don't let them lock out, right? And don't think about jamming your heels down. Think about popping them back up. Yeah, from here, I'm gonna pick up that right foot again while it's dragging the front, cross over my foot, dig brush step. Yeah, so that looked like this. I was here, dig, brush, step. That's my right foot crossing over. Left, right, left, right, two, three, and four, and. Yeah? Good so far? Do it again. One, two, three. Yeah, dig brush deck. Brush heel, toe heel. So now I've got my weight on that front foot. I'm gonna pick up my left for a brush heel, toe heel. Yeah, and then step again. Ayo, ayo. Two, three, two. Yeah, brush heel, toe heel, step. Yeah, so far so good. Bend your knees, keep it light. There's a lot of like movement to this. Yeah, I think me and my friend Emma actually choreographed this. Emma Grosjean, shout out to my bestie. Uh, we choreographed this together. We were practicing on uh, dots about this size. So <laughs> yeah, it's not meant to be huge, but it is meant to like use as much of your space as you can with weight shift and direction change. So, how about that? From here, I'm going brush your heel. And then this is two little taps. Yeah, that take you out to the side. Right? It's not quite a brush bag. It's not a pull out. It's just pull, pull. Yeah, keep that foot really loose. And let it be from your leg, right? Rather than, we see how that's different. Listen again. Yeah, good. Do it again, just like that. One. Time from the top, and then 
we'll try uh, practicing this a little quicker. <laughs> it is a little quicker. That's, that's why we're not doing the whole dance today because it's quite quick. I don't want to overwhelm you. I just want to give you the fun part. One. Just kidding. The whole thing's the fun part. But you know. Be smart. One. <laughs> two. One. Two. Three. Again, it's not the, the song that it was choreographed to, but we're working with it <laughs> because that is what we do in the age of YouTube. Let's see. I want to go. Da, 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 da. I was about to sing the Indiana Jones theme song. What is that about? Why did that just come to my mind? <laughs> Very strange. All right. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Okay, now, like I said, the original song is quite quick, so we're, we're trying to practice with like, something that takes the place of the original song. that feels slightly faster than the original song. I mean, I feel like they're all going to be a little a little faster, but is that a problem? I don't think so because then you're going to put on the original and be like, this is easy. <laughs> yeah, they're all a little faster. I would play the other song for reference, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to fall on the copyright track. Maybe this one's a little better. Yes, it has waves at the beginning. Oh, that's a little slower. Maybe that's close. Well, you know, 
I mean, arguably we could do this whole thing a cappella and it would still make more sense than practicing with another random song. Anyways, let's do it again without music. I'll just count you in. So you have one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, you hear how that plays? Now if you're if you're like, oh, I want to hear what the original song is so bad, just put it on yourself. It's called Blueberry Eyes. It's the section that's in Korean. You can't mix it. <laughs> miss it. Can't miss it. I would have said remix and mix. Anyways, I get from the top. One, two, one, two, three, A, A, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah? From here, I'm gonna go into that step we were practicing early. Step shuffle, hop shuffle, to cross your heel, toe, toe. That little rhythm turn. Yeah, yeah, so this is after uh 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 two, three, four. Yeah, that's how it plays. Step shuffle, hop shuffle, cross and hold toe, toe. Then I'm gonna cramp roll. Yeah, so this goes right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Then I'm gonna slide my feet together and I'm gonna hit the heels. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! This, this board isn't very slippery either. That's something else we fixed. But yeah, slide those feet together, have the fun. Uh, this is after, again, from the top. Just we might as well do the whole little thing. We have left, right, left, right, two, three, four, push, <laughs> Yeah, bring those feet in. You can also jump it in together if you don't feel like sliding your feet or attempting, in my case. Uh, not doing a very good job of sliding. Ugh, she's a little sticky. Yeah? Again like that from the top. I'll go even a little slower. I'll try to yell those counts for you. One, two, one, two, three, a, a, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. I realized those counts that I was starting to say on the rhythm term were wrong, so I just stopped myself instead of saying something wacky, but then my rhythm term was wacky, so it all worked out. Uh, again, like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, today y'all oh my gosh it was very real that was sloppy as, as ducks that's that's pretty much real speed right there if you don't want to turn it again we practiced not turning these earlier too so you know maybe i'll take that today as well because my my rhythm turns are taking an l <laughs> something is off in my equilibrium i'm falling to my right Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, those are the correct counts that I just said right there. Hopefully you could hear them over the, the taps, but yeah, yeah. Let's do it a little faster. One, two, one, two, three, four. You watched the video, it did sound like that in the moment. I just can't turn yet. My body hasn't. My body said, girl, you are not ready to turn. Who do you think you are? And I'm trying to <laughs> combat that. Yeah? From here, we're going to this fun little section. This little swingy section. We're almost done. Uh, so that was after four.
Yeah, here's that cross and shuffle, just like we practiced earlier. Yeah. Yes, this is after one, two, three, all four, and three. One, two, three. Yeah, changing it up a little bit. One, two, three, all four, and four. Fresh heel shuffle. Yeah, heel shuffle. Then I'm going to step shuffle. Yeah, so pick up that right foot again and just cross back and just do this crossing shuffle behind you. Step on it, shuffle the left. Step, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> yeah, so that one is a crossing shuffle in the front that pauses. Yeah, I'm going to not pull that foot back quite yet. We're going to change up the rhythm there. D, 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 D. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> Again. Okay, we're almost there to this crazy part that we're going to stop at today. So. How you doing? You're doing great. Come back a little bit. Let's go through this a little slower. Uh, from two, three, four, one. Fresh heel shuffle, heel shuffle. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the top. Take it a little quicker. One, two. Yay! 
and that's where we're stopping for this. There's more. If you if you seen the little video we did, there's more, but we're not getting into that today. We don't have all the time and brain cells for that, or I don't. We did, let's go from back here. Two, uh, no, two, three, four, five, four, five. I know it sounds kind of weird right now, but I promise, uh, musically, that part sounds uh, crazy. So, let's take it from the top. Walk it through slowly from there. Again, if you want to hear this song, Blue Air Eyes, Sugar Section, it starts with A-O-A-O. -A -O. When you hear that, that's that's the beginning. You have one, two, three, A, A, O, three. If you enjoyed that, you'll enjoy learning the whole thing. Do here we go. Nice cool down real quick. We'll take a little stretch and breathe. Because that was a lot of work. Good job. Blue your eyes. That's what the song's called. <laughs> Not this song. This is just a random song. That I like. That's relaxing. Alright. Nice and easy. Roll it out. Balances here. 
here, take note. Yes, it's good to try to even those legs out. We don't want any injuries, any part of your body. If there's two sides to something, make sure you're stretching both equally because that's how injuries happen. Just little imbalances can really do it to you. Sneak up on you. Good, drop that toe, bend both knees, just relax over. Release through your lower back, release your neck. Just hang out for a second. If you want, you can also extend those legs for a moment. I shouldn't be touching this board because it's filthy, but I'm doing it. Good, on your next exhale, bend your knees, slowly roll up and stack your spine. Take it slow. Yes, yay. We did it. Shake it out. All right. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to try to show you my face again. Ooh, sorry for the adjustments. I know I hate them too, trust me. I'll be happy when we're just in real life and there's no <laughs> adjustment needed. You can just move your head like a normal being. All right, thank you guys so much. Whoa, I don't know what that is, but here we are. Good morning, <laughs> Jess. If you enjoyed class today, give a little like, give a little comment, save it to a playlist maybe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out our in-person classes. They're happening if you're in Tucson, Arizona. We're doing outdoor classes. We're doing in indoor masked up classes while we finish this final leg of this crazy, crazy year. You did it. Thank you for staying with us and dancing and supporting a little small business here in Tucson. We appreciate you. All right, y'all. Have a great rest of your week. Life moves, move with it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>